Yo, what's going on today, YouTube? It's Ricardo here, and today, guys, we're just gonna have a chat. Podcast it up with you guys. We need to talk about Call of Duty Warzone and potentially being in the worst state it's ever been. Let's go. All righty, you guys. So, those that have not been to my channel before, every once in a while, I'll have one of these, like, podcasty uh, sort of segments on my channel where I kind of just talk to you guys for about 10 minutes here about what needs to happen in Call of Duty Warzone. In the past, we pretty much just talked about, like, hey, like, they're kind of letting this meta go on for too long. It's kind of making the game boring, blah, blah, blah. We have a completely different issue today, guys. This game is almost unplayable. The reason I say that is because it took me no cap tonight, guys. I have a $2,500 computer that I built myself. I know everything. I know everything in and out of my computer. This thing took 30 minutes to get me in a game because I kept getting dev errors. I had to literally restart my computer because it wouldn't get me in. I was like, how is this even physically possible that a $2,500 computer can't even get me into a game right now? And I'm not surprised because right now console apparently can't even play the new map half the time because your guns just spawn as like mumble jumble blackness. So it's like, that is a completely like, you can't get away with that. And the big issue with this release, it's, I, I don't know if they didn't test anything or whatnot for console or they didn't test anything for PC or where they missed on this because obviously there's something huge that was missed because they dropped this about two weeks ago now, I believe, and Christmas is next week. So obviously they wanted to get it out there and try to like get the Christmas players in there. Everyone's got a little bit more time around the holidays for the most part for their most of their players, I'm sure, because obviously I'm out of school these days, but you know, college kids and high school kids are, they're off for like a month to two weeks. So going forward, like everyone's going off work for a couple of days. Even some people take a whole week off. Like my wife's off this entire next week going forward because she just, that's what they do in her company. So they have a broken game right now and we don't know when it's going to get fixed. Like this is probably the number one holiday week of the entire world when it comes to Christmas. So, especially here in North America, I don't know how it is in other countries and whatnot, but here in North America, and I know Canada does it, I know the United States does it obviously, but people are just off work for like a week, some of them. And then if not, they're taking at least a couple days off for Christmas. So luckily Christmas falls on a weekend this year. So maybe they have like a, you gotta work right now. Like we need you to get in here and do overtime and fix this game. But at the moment, it's basically unplayable. And there's so many bugs in the game. They're talking about how they fix gas masks and stuff like this. And I haven't noticed one damn difference in a gas mask. I've died like 18 times this season because I'm getting pushed on a zone with a gas behind me and my gas mask going like this still and pulling off and put it on and put it off. So I don't know what like the philosophy on that change was. It doesn't seem like it's working at all. And then the main reason I did want to like make this video today is just because right now, as someone that I deeply love this game, I've obviously built the channel that's just about to hit 12,000 subscribers on it. It's just like, isn't fun anymore, guys. I don't know about you guys. If you guys are feeling this way, maybe it's just me being really frustrated tonight and the game's just being like, eh, but I don't know. It's just, there's no satisfaction anymore. It's weird like because I do think that there is people out there that still like want to grind their stats and blah, 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 but there's no seasonal stat reset. So there's nothing to grind for. You're not getting any cool ranks or anything like that. I think Warzone needs to make some serious changes right away because this Krampus event that's out right now is horrible. It is unbelievably bad. It, it was hilarious for the first time, but now that it happens literally every game, you're going to chase around by Krampus and like we got, it looks like we got 15 more days of this. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't know, guys. I don't know about you guys and what you guys are doing with your time, but I did run a poll on my YouTube channel, and it came out to about 65% of people have no interest on my subscribers anymore about Warzone. And there was like 300 votes on it. So very interesting to see what that is going to be going forward if Warzone's going to be the dead. Like, is this, is this the end of Warzone? I'm not sure if it is or not, because I think any game can regroup and get it back together. We've seen Fortnite do it right now because Fortnite's having like the best season they've had in probably two years. And they had the entire chapter two that just no one cared about and got off the game and all that stuff. So there's always a chance they can bring it back. My advice for them 
number one optimization your half your player base can't play probably three quarters of your player base can't play because most people play on console i understand that i used to play console and most people play call of duty on console so if you can't play a console and actually play your game you're losing like no maybe even 90 percent of your player base because it's just so much more accessible for people i understand that i have a very lucky setup for those that haven't seen it here I have a very lucky setup that I have bought piece by piece over years, and it's just been a, a work of just many years now. I've been building this thing together for about five years, maybe even longer than that. So not everyone has this. I used to be the kid playing on a console, and if I couldn't load into my favorite game, I'd be switching to a new game tomorrow, and I probably wouldn't look back. The reason I still play this game is because of this beautiful YouTube channel that we built. If I didn't have this YouTube channel, I guarantee you right now I'd be in a deep, dark hole grinding League of Legends ranked probably. But we're just in a, it's in, we're in a weird spot, guys. Call of Duty in general is going down bad. And you can tell because, first off, I know Courage and Nate if you guys listen to their podcast, have really been like hot on this topic lately of for professional call of duty like obviously we have the call of duty pro league and or call of duty league whatever they want to call it these days um it's horrible like there should be a tournament going on today like it should be championship sunday today in call of duty vanguard but the first tournament is until february by february 90 percent of people on call of duty are done playing let's be completely honest call of duty it's the same cycle every year you get it a new call of duty you grind it for a little bit people stop playing like by the time three months comes around, like no one's gonna be playing Call of Duty anymore, and so that's a big issue there. If you guys have been watching the Halo uh, Championship Series this weekend, they had their first event this week. Game came out same time basically as Vanguard, and they already have a tournament that's pulling hundreds of thousand people watching it. And Halo's been dead out of the water forever, but it's back in full fledged like open bracket tournament where you're letting people in it's not just 12 teams playing against each other hopefully that's something that they've learned going forward but i just they're gonna have to do something crazy obviously call of duty has them they have the assets they have the money to do anything and come back from any loss that they ever have but at this point it just feels like they're doing this game to just make money you know it just feels like call of duty is just a money funding thing for them and I don't, we obviously know there's lots of drama out there with Activision right now and their CEO and all this stuff. And maybe once they get rid of this guy and like change some big things around the company, maybe they'll be able to make a big comeback. But as of right now, guys, I just, I feel like everything in this game is just to make money. And hopefully they change that because there's a very big, obvious, like the entire community right now is not very happy. It's just a very, very sad thing to see because everyone's bitching about everything. And I'm currently doing a YouTube video that you guys are watching right now. So I hopefully they can get this going, but I I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I think Warzone might be hitting its last days, to be completely honest. I think the map's actually really fun, too. I know a lot of people give a lot of hate on Caldera. It's just more of a traditional BR pacing in it. And so people are kind of like, eh. But I kind of have been having a lot of fun on it. But just after a few days and weeks of playing on it, it's just like, there's just so many bugs in the game still, man. And you're just like, how has this not been removed for two years? But you guys will literally nerf weapon xp that's broken and giving people the opportunity to level their guns faster within 12 hours so it's like i don't know at the end of the day i feel like their interests are a lot different than the players and that's usually a horrible horrible format for a disaster because people for games you want people to play your game right and if people don't like you they're not going to play your game so this is just number one this is another thing just like screwing people over on that xp like it was so nice i leveled the gun in like one game and then the next game the xp boost was gone so that was kind of depressing but yeah guys i just wanted to come on here and talk about it a little bit they need to do something big they need to get it was like a grappling hook or something to make better plays or just change the pacing of the game because there's so much verticality in the game if you had a grappling hook you could literally just climb up everything and make awesome plays so people aren't just holding you on top of mountains you can escape more plays I think that would be like the number one easiest way to fix that. But I'm sure they had put it into the game and there'd be all kinds of bugs with it. So who knows if that's even possible the way they build their maps. Because if you guys notice, there's so many times there's like, especially on this new map where I'm like head glitching a rock, perfect snipe right in the head and it hits the rock in front of me on an invisible barrier. So I don't know, guys. I'm hoping that they can turn it around quickly, but 
going forward, if you guys did make it this far through the video and you guys did enjoy just like a little podcast from your boy Rick here, um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from this channel going forward because I don't know if I'm going to keep doing Warzone on this channel right now. I personally am not having a lot of fun with it and at the end of the day i do this for fun this isn't a full-time job i wish it was a full-time job but i might have to make like a second channel or something because i know youtube algorithms are pretty rough if you switch completely because i post a halo video every once in a while and it does horrible so i would really like to hear what you guys think about the game and what you guys would like to see from my channel going forward if you guys could let me know in the comments i really appreciate it and then yeah, I think that's about it for me today, guys. I just hope they can really get this together because the, between the dev errors and not just so many different things, just changing things that people don't want. I don't know. We'll see if we can end up fixing it. But I love you guys. Have a good rest of your guys' day. Don't let this negativity ruin your positive output on your day. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.